Selecting and Structuring Grammar Practice Activities. What should teachers keep in mind when planning for grammar practice? What criteria should they use to select appropriate activities for their learners? The following extract can help us answer these questions. From my readings in applied linguistics and in educational psychology, and from my experience, I would say that two essential criteria must be met when designing practice activities of the right sort. First, the activities should be meaningful and engaging. Second, they should be focused. More specifically, practice activities should be designed in such a way that the learning challenge is in focus. Larson Freeman, 2003, Teaching Language from Grammar to Grammaring. Selecting Grammar Practice Activities. When selecting grammar practice activities, teachers should first consider the nature of the learning challenge. If the student's learning challenge is form, meaningful repetition is useful. For example, grammar jazz chants, or find someone who, or the 20 questions game. If the student's learning challenge is meaning, they will need to practice linking form and meaning together. For example, the game, What Have I Changed? If the student's learning challenge is use, students will need to make a choice. For example, role play a job interview requiring them to use either the present perfect to talk about their experiences or the past simple tense, specifying when they acquired these experiences. Meaningful activities require students to use the grammar structure for some meaningful purpose. For example, if they need to practice using prepositions of direction, a meaningful practice activity would be reading maps in order to give directions to someone. Asking students to write a list of examples using, say, the preposition on, that is, to produce decontextualized sentences, is not particularly meaningful or effective. They may produce sentences with time expression, for example, on Sunday, but this will not help them learn how to give directions. Activities should engage students' attention and interest. Grammar doesn't enjoy great popularity, and for this reason, teachers should make an extra effort to keep students motivated. Here are some suggestions on how this may be achieved. Personalize grammar practice activities by creating a situation that requires students to use the target grammar structure to talk about themselves. In this way, students can relate the language to their own experiences and express their ideas, thoughts, and feelings. Individualize grammar practice. Use strategies that will allow students to learn at their own pace and level. For example, instead of saying, do exercise three, tell students, do as much as you can of exercise three in five minutes, or provide compulsory and optional exercises. Include playful, creative activities, such as games, skits, drama, songs, or poems. Funny, witty, and imaginative model texts or sentences are likely to engage student attention, stick in their minds, and inspire them to be creative. Language play can greatly contribute to language learning.